study a timbre. Yeah, I still look like crap. I still have a lung infection, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to be doing two videos today. I know I did one this morning, and I posted an old video that I had been trying to find, and I finally located it of catching my daughter singing. Um, this video is to give you guys a little clue. I Well, actually, just information. I get asked all the time things like, where do you get your nails done? If they're polished like this, I get asked, where do I get my nails done? Who does your nails? God. Okay. Guys, I don't have false nails. See? You can see. Mine are very real. You see how this is badly misshapen? It's because my hand got slammed in a, a van door when I was a little girl. So it damaged the nail bed. But my nails are natural. My hair is natural. Um, as all of you know, in April of last year, I cut off 14 inches of hair. Um and donated it to an organization called Wigs for Kids. And it provides wigs for cancer patients that are children. The reason I will not donate to Locks for Love is because I found out that they charge the patients money for those wigs. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Um, I had donated hair to them in the past. And when I learned of this, I cut them off. No more. I would not donate my hair. And apparently... The hairstylist and the organization really wanted my hair because it's naturally auburn and it's baby fine. It, it just super fine hair. I don't have thickly textured hair. I have naturally wavy, very baby fine hair. Um, and it's not an abundance of wave. It, it just, just, it's a little wave. Um, so when I learned of this, I went looking for another organization and after I lost Frosty, and then I lost Snowy. Two months after I lost Snowy, I decided, you know what, It's it, we're going to come into hot weather. It's time to cut it off. So, not quite a year ago, because here we are in March. All right, we're halfway through March. It's almost a year ago. I cut my hair to here. I went and had it cut off to here. Okay? It is now all the way back down to here. All right? You could see it in one of my videos. It was here. All right? Um... I got asked, how do I get my hair to grow and my nails to grow the way that they do? You're going to laugh. It's the most comical thing. The most unexpected thing. Peanut butter and honey. Okay? But I'm super, super, super picky about what I will eat. I don't want sugars added. I don't want preservatives. Um, and obviously, I can't make my own peanut butter without the proper tools. Yes, I could go to Sprouts and do so. But, I found a wonderful peanut butter and honey that has no added sugar, no preservatives. Um, it's just, And I was shocked, very shocked. It's made by Kroger. Okay, so Fred Meyer, Fry's, uh, Kroger stores, all of that. Anything owned by Kroger is going to carry this. It's got a yellow lid, and they have both a crunchy and a creamy version. Obviously, with my dental situation, I don't like crunchy. Plus, it brings up a really bad childhood memory of the woman who abused me. So, let me show you here. If I can find the right bag. Hold on one sec for me. Okay. So, quite literally, let me read you the ingredients here. And it's really, really good. All good for you. We have peanut butter, which they, is roasted peanuts. And... Fully hydrogenated vegetable oil. Wish it weren't that, but you got to have that to smooth the peanut butter. Um, it's got honey. <laughs> That's it, sweetener. Honey. No added sugars, guys. So this is the one that I buy um, because it's A, affordable and in our budget. The problem we have with me is I, because my puppies love this, and peanut butter and honey are both incredibly good for your animals. Between the puppies and I, we will eat one of these one pound, 16 ounce bottles in one sitting. Yeah, my husband was shocked. This last couple of weeks being so sick and not being able to keep anything down and trying to get some kind of nutrition in myself, which didn't work out too well for me on the other end, but still at least I know I absorbed some nutrition. This was the only thing I could eat besides dick drops and crackers. And this kept making my tummy really bad. 
just because my tummy's not working real well with this infection. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, you should see Spirit right now. He sees the bottle, knows what this is. And it so excites him. Um, Chrissy, just, oh my goodness, this is her favorite. So I'm going to go to Sprouts this next month. And I'm going to, ow, do some homemade. Because you can grind your own nut butters there. And I'm going to do some uh, peanut butter and the honey that I buy that I like. Because I'm going to take it with me to blend into it. I'll do the peanut butter there, bring it home and blend it in is what I'm going to do. Um, and it is an Arizona wildflower uh, organic raw honey. Okay, so the best nutrition you can get, best antioxidants you can get, um, and in a natural antibiotic. So needless to say, I've been going through, I've already gone through it, almost the whole thing of clover honey, um, and part of my raw honey being sick this time because my immune system's gone. But I wanted to let you know, that is my trick, guys. That's my only trick. I ate a lot of good, healthy peanut butter and honey that doesn't have a bunch of preservatives and doesn't have added sugars. So, um, I wouldn't mind the added sugars, but with fibromyalgia, I have to be very, very, very cautious and I have a chocolate problem. So I get my sugars from that. So that's basically what this video is. Hair and nail growth, healthy. Um, it's, it's peanut butter with, with organic honey. Guys, that's the truth of the matter. That's what I do. I don't take any special vitamins. I don't. Nothing. It's peanut butter and honey. <laughs> so, if you're out there looking for a way to get your hair and nails to grow like crazy, that's my recommendation. <clears throat> Seriously. And if you're sick, go with that raw, uh, organic, unfiltered honey. You know, I like the Arizona wildflower honey because that's my local growers. And it, the flavor of that versus clover honey or agave honey or anything else I've tried is just... It's, it's got this delicate flavor to it. It's amazing. I wish that I knew how to describe it to you. Maybe my son can. But he's sleeping right now. Because he's now working nights. So, God bless you all. I'm praying for you. And I wish you all the luck in the world with growing hair as fast as mine does. And nails that are like mine. That, look at this. These things are like razor blades. They're super strong. They're super healthy. And they grow like wildfire. So, if that's the trick you're looking for, that's my tip for you. Bye.